My name is Nick Harmer. I play bass in Death Cab for Cutie. And these are the albums that are in my bag. If only you had known me before the accident. I picked up the new uh, D'Angelo record. I own this digitally, and I've just, vinyl is just a thing now in my life that as much as I can collect it and play it and love it, then I'll buy it. So I'm trying my best to not do the double purchase thing where I, you know, but sometimes I can't wait. I just want to hear the album, so I buy it, and then I want it on vinyl too, and I probably should just wait for the vinyl anyway. I love this album. I think, I mean, it, one, it's super surprising. I did not expect him to turn in an album of this kind of weight and soul on top of just the musicianship alone, all of the instruments that he plays. It's just, it's kind of one of those instant classics. The next one is uh, by a young uh, Australian singer songwriter. Actually, she's running a band now, Courtney Barnett. I heard uh, a stream of one of her songs and it just hit me right in the college rock gut. It really uh, feels very much in the same vein as a lot of the records that were important in my formative years. It's just cool. I don't know, she's just got this coolness in her delivery. Plus I happen to see that it's orange vinyl and I'm a big fan of colored vinyl. So even though, again, I own it digitally, now I have it on vinyl as well and I'm excited to keep rocking this one through the summer because it's, it's got a good, uh, good vibe. I have been saving jazz uh, as, a, and it, as a complete genre to get into until later in life because I just knew I would get really obsessed about you know, recordings and pressings. And now I feel like I'm at a point where I'm really well ready for jazz to be a, a part of my regular music listening experience. So I picked up this uh, Bill Evans Trio Sunday at the Village Vanguard. We have a new uh, keyboard player, fifth member in the, uh, in the band that's joining us named Zach Ray, who's just an amazing player, has encyclopedic music uh, knowledge. So I asked Zach for his favorite jazz album and he re recommended this album called Waltz for Debbie, which was made out of performances um, that the Bill Evans Trio did at the Village Vanguard. And I loved Waltz for Debbie and then now there's this sort of some new material to, for me to dig into that was sort of recorded around the same time. I'm particularly in love with Scott LaFaro, who is a bass player in the Bill Evans Trio. He is just otherworldly incredible, and he died in an automobile accident uh, shortly after, like the, like the week after they finished recording this. There's also kind of a spooky, haunty kind of thing around it, like hearing his, his last sort of recording. Anyway, I don't know anything about it yet, but I can't wait to open it up and check it out. Spiritualized. Ladies and gentlemen, we're floating in space. Bonafide classic, good to have it on vinyl. Just, you know, should be in every record collection. Real important record for everyone in Def Cab. It's a, a band that we have in, you know, in our short list of uh, same, samesies as far as likes go. <laughs> um, now I finally have it on vinyl after too long of only listening to it on a, an iPod. And then the last one is just another jazz album, Duke Ellington and John Coltrane, which our manager Jordan just recommended to me today. My first entry point into jazz is going to be um, sad jazz, I've determined. I really like a lot of like uh, ambient sort of soundscape stuff, like A Winged Victory for the Solon and Stars of the Lid and, you know, Eno stuff. And I feel like if I'm going to successfully make the transition into jazz, I'm gonna have to start kind of in the sad, more ethereal side of things sort of more emotional weight than the sort of speedy bebop jazz with the you know quick scales and stuff like that. Which I can't wait to get to as well from a sort of a pure musicianship standpoint, but I really, I wanna get hit with the emotion of it first. So he recommended this and I can't wait to listen to it because uh, again, it's a new horizon for me to explore, so. That's what's in my bag. Perfect, thank you. Yeah. Really appreciate it. Of course, thank you. <laughs>